hi guys welcome back to my channel once again and i am so sorry that i've been so absent and i've not been so much active on youtube uh well i was kind of busy but it's not just that it was just like i was not feeling it you know um i was completely in a creative block i did not know what videos to post what you know it was like completely like i was completely off track i was like in a blank space and i didn't know what to do but i am back i'm officially back and i'm i promise that i am going to uh post every week now i'm going to be regular uh definitely thank you for hanging uh, around and um i love you guys thank you so much and uh, yeah i will be posting regularly now definitely <laughs> so yeah today's video is about brush cleaning as you know by the title as well i promised you sometime back and i'm finally going to post it today and i hope you guys like it and uh please do give me a follow back and please do like the video because it really motivates me to make more videos and yes let's get on with this video then guys ask which is washing the brushes now yes there are a lot of brushes and this is only the half okay so i bought this uh makeup brush cleanser some time back this is uh, not a necessity you can buy a, a face uh cleanser as well like a face wash or use a soap as well i'll tell you later on um and this is how i'm doing it i wet the brushes under lukewarm water and then i start to just swirl the brush on my hand don't put too much pressure on the brush otherwise you are going to destroy the shape the bristles of the brush so keep rotating it and then wash it this is a brush that i use for primer this is why you can't see any color after you've done just squeeze the water out of it completely and then put the shape back like this was a triangular brush so i'm putting to put it back in a triangle put a towel on top of a tray and put the brush flat on top of the tray to dry now i'm coming up with a foundation brush remember the water should be a little lukewarm like not cold okay now this is a foundation brush so see how much color is coming out because it is a foundation brush and remember foundation brushes if you've been using it for like some time or like three four times uh, or on two three people then you might have to wash it like two three times so this is the one time and still i had to wash it because it still had a lot of foundation on it and trust me this was only used on two clients so you can still see that how much foundation is coming out it's still Still a lot you can see it in the sink as well just keep going in circular motions and don't put too much pressure on it you might seem it might seem like I'm putting too much pressure but I'm not I'm just moving it around rubbing it and I will wash it one more time because the water when I squeezed out it was not coming clean and I didn't like the, <laughs> the look of the brush so uh, I'm going to wash it one last time and can you see that there is still some color coming out but this time it's better and the soap is lathering more because it's the brush is cleaner so i'm going to just swirl it around on my hand for a little bit trying to take all of the foundation off and then i'm going to wash it under lukewarm water never dip your brushes in water remember never dip them in water you just need to wash them otherwise you will wash all the glue off as well and just wash them like upside down now squeeze them until the water runs clean like if no water is coming out as like muddy or foundation-y <laughs> your brush is clean put the shape back and just lay it flat to dry see the color color of the brush now you don't have to use this makeup cleanser you can use a soap simple i'm taking dove you can take a face wash as well whatever you have find it conveniently you can use that in fact i think soap works best i'm taking a concealer brush now uh, just to show you the how nicely is it going to wash on soap so i'm just going to rub it nicely on soap and after i'm done that i'm just going to take the brush and rub it on my hand as well um so just to you know swirl it around and everything onto my hand and then i'm going to wash it you, you're going to see that just after one time the brush is going to be completely clean see 
the color of the brush is out it's like kind of a purpley color so there it is now squeeze it until all the water comes out clean like there is no foundation coming so this means that the brush is completely clean put it on the tray flatly to dry now i am going to go ahead with an eyeshadow brush just to give you an example that how are you going to wash small brushes as well i'm going to wash it with soap as well lukewarm water dip it a little like wet it a little not dip it sorry and now just swirl it around on the soap and then you're going to swirl it on your hand just simple rules swirl it on the soap swirl it on your hands i think soaps are one of the easiest thing that you can find around you can never go wrong just don't put too much pressure just be very light with eyeshadow brushes because they're very fragile so just very very lightly i'm just moving them just like i'm applying an eyeshadow on my eye and you're just going to do that and wash it these will be washed in gel like one time because eyeshadows are just powders and they come out really nicely so just do that clean it then you're going to squeeze all the liquid out of it not a lot but yeah you still have to squeeze the liquid out of it there you go and don't worry it will fluff off into very good shape when it dries out put it on the tray flat now I will show you a sponge, yes, a beauty blender. <laughs> it's very dirty, I know. I'm just going to start rubbing it. I already had soap on my hand, but I am taking this, the brush cleanser. You can take a face wash, remember, or you can take a soap as well. Soap will be a little hard, but your yeah, face wash will be perfect for that. So take the face wash and start rubbing it like I'm doing it. And I have not wet it right now. The sponge is not wet it's dry okay i am just rubbing the dry soap because i feel like when i wet it it is going to absorb the water so then it is going to start absorbing the soap after i've done rubbing it i am going to start washing it and just like that i'm washing i'm rubbing i'm washing and rubbing and now finally i'm just going to squeeze all the uh, like moisture out of it and see how clean it is just to show you that how nicely a sponge will be clean i'm going to taking a sponge that is originally white in color oh my god that's so disgusting so i'm just taking the makeup cleanser again and i'm just rubbing it nicely onto the sponge just rub it all the time rubbing it revolving it all over and you will see that it is starting to change color can you see that and now finally i'm just going to go ahead under the tap just rubbing it just taking out all the liquid and you see finally i have done it can you see the color of the sponge it's white and purple back to its normal self again so this is a pink makeup brush i'm just going to fast forward through some of the brushes this is a concealer corrector brush and all of them are going to be washed with soap this is very easy it really took me a minute or so this is another like foundation brush and it was cleaned very nicely as well and this is the you know the the powder puff and you can clean it with soap as well just rub it on the soap and start you know rubbing it rubbing it rubbing it nicely and just clean squeeze and see it's back to its normal star normal self like the white color it was yeah this is how you clean everything and here you go guys i have put everything onto the towel to dry and remember to leave space between each brush putting everything flat down and put a space between each brush my towel is on my down dining table and every brush is drying uh, it will take it like a fortnight like one night or another day uh, for me but if you're living in a hot country it will only take a fortnight like in a night they'll be all clean and dry so yeah go ahead try this out you can try it anyway with a soap with a face wash or with a makeup cleanser especially but i think a face wash or a soap will do uh, so yeah this was it for this video guys i hope you liked it i hope this will be helpful for you guys if it is then please do give me a big thumbs up please do comment below and please do subscribe to my channel as that helps me a lot and motivates me to make new videos for you guys and if you want any other video please let me know and i will definitely oblige see you in the next video very very soon till then Take care. Bye-bye.